Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Adam and you already know. Just in the mic. Alright. Well, today we're gonna be continuing Resident Evil 4. It's quite late. And unfortunately we couldn't get Clay to join us. I uh, guess he had other plans. Uh, we had scheduled to record on today, Thursday, but I guess he had somewhere else to be or something. But I mean well He'll probably join us next episode. Hopefully. This will still be a co-op, so... For all you punks who wanna get smart and just be like, Oh, is this still a co-op? Why do you take off co-op if it's not gonna be around? Don't make me block you, so just stay shut. Alright? Another thing. I don't know how long I'm gonna be recording today. Probably 30 minutes. Probably an hour. I'm quite tired. You guys probably could already hear that from my voice. I, I'm... Uh oh, I'm ready to pass out any minute, but before that, <clears throat> I figure I should record a bit. We are at chapter 3, I believe it's chapter 3, or chapter 3-3, three, three? <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, alright, so we're going to rescue Ashley, but <clears throat> this is actually kind of good in a way, because now it allows me to, what is it, kind of catch up to the outer file that we were up to. Back when uh, it was me and Clay were playing through that, what is it, the the Verdugo monster? I think that's what it's called. All right, Ashley, just freaking calm down. You could actually kill Ashley if she didn't have the armor in this mode or whatever. Sick. Talk about near-death experience. You were nowhere near dying. They can't possibly kill her. Oh, I just love watching these people try to carry her. You know what's funny? I actually, you can actually die here. Or something like that. Oh, I missed completely. Where's that one? What's that one punk with the red? He should be somewhere around here. Uh, I'll let him. I'll let him try to carry her. Where the heck is this guy at? He's gotta be somewhere around here. <laughs> just blow up your head. I suck at this aiming nonsense. Go ahead, Law. Alright, Ashley. The door's locked. I can't open it. Mato. <laughs> Don't point at me, punk. You want to point at me? I'll kill you. Come on. Oh yeah, there you go. This this guy could kill you. This guy right here. Oh god. My aim's so terrible. <laughs> Just shoot him in the arm. Yes. Oh, perfect. That should be it, Ashley. Go get the key. This part's awesome. I remember when I first played this part. Alright Ashley, just go out. Oh god, I remember playing through this the first time. God, I was so scary. This, this is easily the scariest part of the game. Easily. You're playing with Ashley. This is some Fatal Frame nonsense. So, when you play with Ashley... <laughs> she has her own inventory slot. And it's epic. And thankfully, I have the the armor here. Because, oh my god, this part is crazy without the armor. It's not hard, it's just, it's just scary. You know, like, man... It still scares me to this day, just a little bit. But when I have the armor, I almost have nothing to be afraid of. Because I'm like, oh, well, I can't die. Sick. I'm trying to find some other stuff around here. So yeah, you have to try to escape from these these bad guys with Ashley. I mean, you do have a method of attack just to try not to make any noise. Or is it... Oh, I get... oh he spotted me. Where you coming from? Alright, doofus. I'm gonna go around you. Ha, ha, ha. Laugh all you want, son. Oh, boy. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely need this. You can just throw this. Oh, God. Ashley, your aim sucks. Ugh. Yeah, you can go 
to the other side without even having to open up the gate. It keeps that guy trapped in there. I believe so, anyway. Come over here, yo. What up, doggy dog? Come, 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 come holla at your boy. Come check me out, man. Alright, so... I think I can chain this. What are you doing, you dumbass? Gosh, he's so stupid. Let me get this. Alright. Come holler at your boy, yo. Come get yourself... Come get yourself some sandwiches. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, rotate. Trying to rotate, come on, man. Hey, don't you dare! I'm almost done. You loser. <laughs> just stay away from me, man. Let, let, no, 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 come on, come on. Let me just finish this, yo. Get the fuck off. What the hell you think you are? Too easy, yo. <laughs> yo, this suit is broken. Get off me, man. Alright, this part's not hard. It's the part afterwards where you have to get away from the knights and all that. God, it's terrifying. Uh, I believe it's over here, actually. Yeah. Oh, boy. Not fun. Let's see what we got. I can combine herbs. Make some room for the other items and in inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna press the switch. What'd it look like? Go to the other side. There's some three switches here I believe you have to press. Actually, I don't even think you need to press the other ones. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. You just need to press those two. But you need to get this stone tablet because it's important for a puzzle that comes up later on. Oh, yeah, so it is three. Ah, wait, no. No, maybe. Press this switch again, perhaps. All right, I guess so. This probably an easier way to do that. Just it's been a while. Awesome. Velvet oh, blue. All right, this is the part over here. Where it's like super dark and the music just pops out of nowhere and I'm like, oh shit, something's coming. I just know it. And then you see these I can't really aim it because well, they're not gonna do anything to us. But like it's just creepy as hell. Right, this room's not awesome. Yo, look at this guy right here. Man, that axe looks like it's seen some action, man. I don't know about that. It looks rusty, but also looks like it, it's seen some action. And this puzzle, I don't like. I don't like this puzzle. Yeah, because you need to find a way. Uh, which piece is it? I think the bottom right needs to have nothing in it. Because, yeah, there's no piece for the bottom right. This could take a while. <laughs> Never mind. It didn't take any time at all. So <laughs> you put in the piece. God, I must I must have gotten better at these puzzles. Thanks to Wind Waker. <laughs> anyway, there's a stone tablet thing there. And that opens the door for us to get the royal jewel or whatever it's called. Well, I'll see in a minute. Let me just explore this place. This is not like a speed run, now I don't have to hurry it up. I can just take my time. There we go. A gold bangle. Nah, there's nothing else in here? Alright. Well, this is the royal jewel we're supposed to get. The Salazar family insignia! But it's not just that. They want you to get this. This is the important thing. Part of the ornaments. The ornaments. Oh god. Time out. It's my phone. Shut up. So, 
We'll see things come in now. Well, I usually let them all come in because it's easier that way. Not faster, but I let them come in. That way I don't have to deal with these guys. You have to be really careful around these parts, though. So, yeah, that's what happens when you don't actually dodge. Actually, no, that's what happens when you dodge. I thought I didn't dodge. Oh. Scary stuff, man. Just, just scary stuff. Oh god. Oh boy. I don't like this one bit. And if you wait here long enough, they actually will start coming for you. You can see that? Oh, that's so freaking scary, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not waiting here for this. Jeez, that's so terrifying. Like, what makes those things autonomous? I don't understand. Like, it's so crazy. So scary, man. I, I don't even want... Ugh, just get it away from me. Ooh. Give me that velvet blue. And what is this? What is this? Got Dot in Manhattan or something? Dot in Manhattan? <coughs> so weird. Let's keep going down. Ooh. Butler's Memo. Okay, knowing that... Senor Ramon Salazar had no family. Lord Salazar must have had a strong faith uh, in the Los Illuminados to his advantage to talk to Senor Salazar into undoing the seal of the Las Plagas, once done by his ancestors. Senor Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was in some way being used unknowingly. I should have sensed the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partly responsible for all this. I have no idea as to what the Lord is planning, but Senor Salazar was just being used. It is too late now, however. Senor Salazar has already taken the plug into his body. It sounds like Lewis is, uh, you know, like his whatever writing or, or something. There's no turning back once the plaga has turned into an adult in the body. The plaga parasite will not die unless the host dies. There's no cure. Perhaps Senor Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the Lord's plan all along, but it's hard to tell. Nevertheless, there's nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations. I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Actually, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting then, don't you think? If the host dies, then the parasite dies. So what's the point of the parasite in the first place? So that it lives a little bit, only to die? Like, I don't understand. If you cannot, if, if there's no way to transfer services from one host to the other, what the hell's the point of the parasite? Does, hasn't anyone thought of this? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Why well, create it in order to die? It's just like being a human being. You know? Yeah, turn a die or a dais, whatever that is. Anyway, we climb up and we are in the clear. <clears throat> Man, my throat is killing me. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm just really tired. <clears throat> I don't have any energy in me. So I'm trying my hardest to stay awake. <clears throat> Man. Alright. Luckily there's nothing else here that we need to fear. It's just a straight path to Leon from here. You unlocked it? Oh. Oh, we got a badass over here. Excuse me, Joe Valentine. <laughs> what happened to your suit? Leon! Ashley! Oh, hugs! You did good. I'm sorry if I was... Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Ah, what a touching moment we have here. <laughs> no, we're not going to save. We barely even started playing. Thanks, Ash. Lee. Oh, we're going to put this shit right here. Put this motherfucker over there. Okay, what am I throwing out, first of all? Yo, I'm tempted to throw out this fucking rocket launcher. I don't need this. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, I, find, I see a spot here I can put in. Now, I'm just gonna use this on Leon. I said use it! No, I'm not gonna discard a yellow... I mean, green herb. Shoot. I don't need two of these. Equip. Now I have no equipment. <laughs> Ah, 
How am I full health? Okay, that explains why I couldn't use the damn, the damn thing. No, wait, we have a lot of ammo now for our handgun, so let's just stick to our handgun. On again? Damn it! Ah, oh, what a touching moment we have here. All spoiled thanks to your interruption. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember oh, yeah? being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first-class script is like through your own actions? Uh, okay. I don't know whether or not you're trying to be a badass or you're trying to be a good guy. You're trying to give us a chance. And Leon with his one-liners. Come on, man. What the hell's going on? 